Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Ria and this video is all you need to know about TNDs. What is a TND? A TND is a test and discussion and it is consist of a test um, on any particular subject followed by a complete discussion by a faculty of that same subject on that same day. So it is conducted by mostly offline coachings like DAMS and Bhatia although other coachings might also have introduced this course but you can take the online or the offline version that is they also have offline classes at their centers but not at all centers but if you are able to attend an offline uh, TND that would be better I feel because that face to face connect with the faculty will be there and it will give you a chance to interact with other peers your age or who are preparing for the same exam whereas it is okay if you live uh, a bit far away from that offline coaching center and you don't want to waste time in traveling then you can also take the online uh, TND in the online TNDs also they will provide you with the, the test online followed by a live discussion of the TND itself so who is this TND program aimed for and who should join a TND first of all it is only for interns and post interns who are planning to um, appear for the exam that same year. It is not uh, advisable for first to final year students to take this um, course. right? Only if you are going to appear for the exam that year should you join a TND course. Second of all, a TND course is for people who are willing and who are motivated enough to study at home by themselves for the majority of the time who are willing to uh, make their own notes at home and study the entire subject at home on their own followed by you know, only going to the coaching or attending an online class or only the TND a TND will not cover the entire syllabus they will only discuss the more important and previous year questions in the span of one day so it's like a revision but it, they will not teach you the entire subject or all that you need to know. You have to study that subject A to Z on your own at home. So if you are someone who is unmotivated and you feel like you don't want to, you don't have the um, capacity to sit at home and study on your own, then uh, and you don't have notes as well, then it would be advisable that you go for a regular uh, course in which the in which they will teach you the entire subject as well. So you might be thinking that if I am willing to study at home, why should I even join a TND in the first place? So a TND will give you an overall plan of how you should, how and when you should finish your subjects. So it will give you a somewhat of a timetable that at least you will finish your complete syllabus in this much amount of time if you follow their schedule. So that is one advantage. The second advantage which is more important I feel is that you will get a sense of completion of that subject that after you have read it on your own and, and understood everything on your own when you attend a test and discussion you will realize where you are lacking or what important concepts or topics you might have missed which you now need to add to your notes and you will get another a quick revision uh, by the faculty themselves and they might also give you updates on that subject and also future important potential questions so and of course it will break the monotony of studying at home which is also a major reason why i joined a tnd was that it gave me a chance to go out and interact with other people and also learn something from a faculty about that subject a bit more than what i had learned so these are advantages of joining a test and discussion now that you have joined if you have joined a test and discussion what are you supposed to do next is that that coaching will most likely give you at least a one month timetable on how and when they are planning to conduct every subject at least in the upcoming month so what i want you guys to do is you take an a4 size paper and you are going to make boxes on that paper for that particular month and suppose and on whatever whichever date you have that TND, I want you guys to write the name of that TND. For example, I have written here TND Micro. And so on and so forth. So whichever day you have the TND, you're gonna fill that block on your calendar, TND Micro, and that day you will not be able to study anything because you will be busy attending the class. Now, after you have filled in the dates which are blocked for your TND, then you have to plan the remaining days 
the remaining days before the tnd how many days do you plan to give for that subject so that you finish it in time for that test for example if you have uh, say micro tnd on a saturday saturday and sunday so you have to finish micro in that previous week from monday to maybe friday so you have to fill that in your timetable you have to write micro across these days if your tnd is on these two days for example so i want you guys to plan everything out like that now i just realized that if you look at my timetable you might get a bit confused because um before the tnd micro i have written uh, other subjects as well like path fmt and micro is only on the bottom and that is because uh, this tnd of micro was conducted a bit later in the year and i had already read that subject on my own earlier so i only needed to revise it now sometimes what happens is you might get very short subjects like anesthesia say psychiatry or ent for which they have given you the entire week for that subject so don't take that entire 6 or 7 days just to read a very short subject what i want you guys to do is smart planning where you have to utilize the extra days and put them to use in some other subject which is has not been covered yet and that will save your time and that is a smart thing to do and that is how i was able to finish my entire syllabus in 100 days even though my tnd would have taken at least 5 months to finish and you will have like a revision of that entire subject when the tnd actually comes around so basically in your first read you would have read that subject twice now leading up to the week of the tnd what are the things you have to read so your first priority should be that you want to get a set of notes entire notes of that subject ideally it would be best if there were your handwritten notes which you had made while watching an online or offline class so if if you have not if you don't have uh, notes from before it would be wise if possible to watch the videos and make your own notes and the source should be whatever is available to you for example if you take a uh, bhartiya stnd like i had done they will give you a complimentary access to their app and in the app they will have uh, videos of all the 19 subjects so i chose to do anatomy and microbiology because i knew those teachers were good and that app was available to me for free so whatever resources you have and if you feel like you are able to you know understand that teacher then just go for it don't be in a fomo that somebody else has said that that teacher is the best or somebody has said that that teacher is the best it doesn't matter the content will be the same the point is that you should be able to understand the concept and you should be able to make your notes in time second of all uh, if you have printed notes and you are able to understand them then that's also fine and third of all some of you guys um, are also watching rapid revision videos and adding the extra points to that that is also fine as long as you don't miss out on anything important and you're not skipping on concepts right because you don't want you want this read to be your best read you don't want to do a subject half heartedly so that you have to repeat it again in your revisions later on so that should be the point is that you should in your first read you should try to connect all the dots of that subject you know from the basics of the subject till the end for example if you are reading obstetrics and gynecology you should start out with the basics of reproduction physiology how the hormones act what effect uh, estrogen and progesterone has on you know the, uh, the the various tissues and then slowly slowly you should move on to the pathologies and that should be covered all in your first read and subsequently uh, in your revisions you might not have to read the basic physiology again so what i so what i mean to say is cover your subject before the tnd in the best way possible as much as you can in a limited time frame of course but don't rush through it in a way that you repent later on in your revision that i wish i had covered this in more detail earlier and after you have made your notes and after you have read your content make sure to do your previous year questions at least of neat and i and i set i would also um suggest that you do fmg questions as well because i have seen questions being repeated from fmg in neat and neat to fmg so at least cover as many pyqs as you can because your test and discussion paper will be heavily 
heavily based on these previous year questions and topics revolving that so if you are well prepared you will be able to understand what the teacher is trying to convey better so this is what should be minimum done you you should have a minimum uh, for one reading of your subject with your notes ready and solve the previous year questions at least once then when you prepare uh, when you um, attend your test how should you uh, you know take the test of tnd you have to take it as if it is the real exam that is the only uh, way it is going to serve you purpose because that test is not only uh, to, for you to see the questions it is for you to, to also get a practice of the exam of how to give an exam right even these small tests like tnds and um, subject wise tests you have to give them in the, with that same intensity and that same focus as you would give a grand test or the real exam because these small small things count and this is how you become uh, better at practicing and giving mcqs so in that one hour or whatever it is of tnd you're going to give it your best shot you know you want to start it on time and complete it in time don't go overboard don't um, take more time than uh, than that is given to you and give the paper uh, uh, attend the questions with your best shot even if you don't know that question try your best to eliminate the options and get to the right answer and that's how you should give the test and the discussion is equally important but i feel uh, don't skip the test paper i have uh, you know many people they skip the test paper and they attend directly the discussion don't take that shortcut it's not useful if you have not given the test then that discussion is not going to be as fruitful to you as it would have been if you had given the test so please attend the test and then the, the discussion will become 100 times better and more useful for you the discussion you have you should attend with utmost concentration you know try initially uh, what would be better is you can take a new notebook or i would say you can just use the back of the same notebook of that subject because notes are not that uh, not that ex extensive of tnd so you can just use the back of the existing notebook and just write down whatever the teacher is saying uh, uh, as in a list form as your questions were right for example question number 1 whatever the uh, whatever they are teaching you can just write it down but so that in that way you will have in a way an extra set of notes by the end of the class then you have to go home and you have to read those notes again and you have to correlate uh, especially the questions you got wrong or you did not know you have to really read uh, understand where i went wrong if it were if it was some new information and it was important information you should add it into your existing notes although you have already written them down in one place believe me you are not going to get time to read those notes again your tnd notes you have to add whatever information you think is important into your existing notes make a small box or um, you know just add it somewhere within that same topic but you have to integrate your tnd notes and your existing notes to make it perfect don't leave this is a mistake that i did i did not integrate uh, most of my tnd notes into my main notes so i was not really able to revise my tnd notes towards the end in my uh, later revisions so i would really suggest you guys to do that so i think i have covered all the major things about a tnd but um if you have not joined our tnd then don't be in form of that either if you have joined a regular class then uh, i have heard that they do give you post class tests so you can attempt those tests or you can even try to get the test and discussion paper from a friend and solve it on your own and if you're not um, a part of a regular course also if you are doing an online coaching like maro or any place all coaching apps will also give you subject wise tests so subject wise uh, tests are essentially the same thing as a test and discussion paper right they are trying to um, analyze how well you have read that subject based on the previous year, previous year topics so give that subject wise test try to make your own tnd you know your own personalized tnd um you know make a timetable and after you finish that subject give that subject wise test and um, i i have said this many many times but uh, especially subject wise tests of maro are really good i think they have they usually cover all the important topics so try to score above 40 out of 50 in those um and if you do so then you are like you have done great and um 
बट टेस्ट एंड डिस्कशन पेपर्स स्पेशली टी एन डी पेपर्स आर ऑन द डिफिकल्ट साइड सो इफ यू गेट अ लो स्कोर डोंट गेट दिस हार्ट एंड बिकॉज दोज क्वेश्चन टेंड टू बी डिफिकल्ट एंड दे आर देयर जस्ट टू टीच यू दे आर नॉट देयर यू आर नॉट सपोज टू नो ऑल ऑफ दैम राइट मैनी पीपल मैनी फैकल्टीज मेक दैट पेपर डिफिकल्ट ऑन पर्पज बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट टू टीच यू समथिंग एक्स्ट्रा विद अ डिफरेंट एंगल so don't uh, don't take any even if you get a subject wise test uh, low score in that or a tnd low score don't get disheartened i have gotten really bad scores um like you know less than 50% also but it's okay so uh, it's not a real exam and you just have to learn from your mistakes and then move on it's completely fine all right guys so i think i have said everything i wanted to to say about a tnd but if you still have any other doubts you can ask me in the comments and i will uh, reply and um i hope you like this video and please subscribe